Right, today we're looking at the Oppo Pad 2. Uh, so straight away you can see this rather um, distinctive sort of machine metal finish. You know, that round grainy finish, which is quite cool. Uh, so yeah, it tends to show a lot less sort of fingerprints and smudges and things than a glass back device. Uh, wood for example and, if we, and speaking of distinctive you've got this rather um, interesting um, camera module on there as well quite a good uh, primary camera on this especially for videoing things you can uh, zoom in it's got digital stabilization and stuff like that uh, so uh, I did uh, wonder at one stage uh, whether uh, you could uh, team up you know a phone like the uh, Oppo uh, Find N2 Flip here uh, with the um, with the Pad 2 and sort of um, they would just instantly sync together and you could drag files from one to the other and you could um, uh, you know use the phone on your tablet or the tablet on your phone or whatever um, I feel like I saw that feature being offered somewhere but I can't figure out how to do it and given that I kind of do this for a living if I can't figure out how to do it certainly my mum wouldn't be able to figure out to do it but just quietly I've never really used that feature very much on other devices anyway that have offered it so it doesn't worry me too much you can obviously um, use uh, nearby share uh, to uh, uh, wirelessly transfer files across and there's a thing called oppo share which basically works the same way um, and you can just access those by pulling down the notification window and you know make all that happen easily enough uh, so yeah it's easy to get files on and off this thing uh, yeah don't worry about that um, uh, what else is distinctive about this uh, iPad well it's uh, it got great battery life uh, you got the uh, classic Oppo SuperVOOC fast charging via the uh, USB-C here um, and uh, you've also got this uh, rather distinctive aspect ratio it's a, a 7 by 5 which means it's quite tall um, so it's not a you know a big wide rectangle it's plenty of space uh, to put things on so let's uh, put some things on the, uh, the screen uh, so I've got here a sort of a painting slash uh, drawing app and I've just set it up to um, have a, a, a pencil um, running on it so I'm going to use some real some of my big artist skills here and as you can see uh, you can be quite uh, do quite a fine line uh, with the drawing and if you just push gently you just get a real faint line there but if you push heavily then you get a much darker line and you can actually oh, we better give them some eyes I suppose boop, boop. and um, you can actually uh, like literally you know hold the pencil on its side and do some shading like that so that's quite cool it's a bit hard to do it that way while I'm showing you on the on the video but there we go and obviously this app you know will let you um you know change colors if we want to give them some you know red here like that if, should we want to do that i don't know why we'd want to do that but you know this is the artist and me coming out you see um so yeah as you can see quite a, a handy um stylus uh, that's sold separately mind you it doesn't come with the tablet and you can also get a um a keyboard case that it goes into basically turn it into a little mini laptop if you like uh, so um, because like other Android tablets this kind of works like a giant um, version of the phones uh, it means that's run by uh, color OS as the operating system and that means gestures like your uh, two finger slide down the screen will split it into two parts and then we can find another app and you know we can adjust how much of that other app we want on screen and if we just access that you know obviously we can you know draw you know on that photo too if we want to oh that's on the copy part here there we go there's a pen drawing on that so um you know the, you, you get all the advantages uh, that you would get with an Oppo phone uh, there on the tablet it works really really well that chip drives things really really well uh, the screen looks great I run you know games like Asphalt 9 on it um, you know no no worries at all and uh, we've got this sort of uh, cool uh, quad speaker uh, set up as well so it sounds really good when you um, it's a great way to actually uh, you know stream your um, Netflix or, or whatever else uh, 
uh, on there too. Uh, fantastic. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, selfie camera just to finish up with and see if that's going to work for you uh, to take uh, in your online meetings and your video chats. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm literally just uh, holding this tablet now and uh, talking to you through it. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can. Um, one thing that Oppo has always done well with their phones is uh, given you the ability to take uh, tremendous selfies. And uh, yeah, that's just as true uh, with this uh, tablet. Uh, there's some interesting um, AI effects that you can use, which is what I've got on right now. Uh, and so that's going to you know keep me pretty much in focus. Uh, because it's figured out that you know I'm supposed to be the um, center of attention, uh, so yeah, it'll do that. Uh, you can you know blur the background on your videos. Um, you can add filters, obviously, and um, do all that stuff. But um, yeah, as you can see, this is a nice uh, crystal clear picture, and I'm pretty sure you can hear me pretty well as well. So um, yeah, there you go. That's the uh, the Oppo Pad 2 in uh, all its glory. Um, I think it's a pretty good option and it's a it's a really uh, yeah viable alternative if you're in the market for you know a nice big Android tablet